Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video today we are going to discuss about light pollution, what are the definitions, types of light pollution and what are the causes, effects and control methods of light pollution. First of all let's see what are the definitions of light pollution. Light pollution refers to the addition of excess light to the atmosphere in such a manner and intensity that causes disturbances to normal life. It is also defined as the presence of unwanted, inappropriate or excess artificial lighting. Light pollution also refers to the effect of any poorly implemented light during the day or night. Okay, Then let us discuss what are the types of light pollution. See, there are various types of light pollution. First let us discuss, first one is light trespass when light enters where it is not necessary that is called light trespass it occurs when unwanted light enters one's property some example if we say when a strong light enter the room of one's home from outside causing the problem like sleeping disturbances etc that is an example of light trespass then comes to next one that is your glare what is glare it is the visual impairment that occurs when a light source is brighter than the light our eyes are accustomed to. Okay, so this is an example of glare. This is the definition of glare. Then in example of glare, we may say being blinded by oncoming vehicles in street is an example of glare. Then the next third one is light clutter. Light clutter refers to excessive grouping of lights. It generates confusion distract drivers in street some example of light clutter is on seated street lights billboards advertisement boards together form light clutter in street okay then the next one is over illumination see over illumination is the excessive use of light or presence of light intensity brighter than the normal okay when the light intensity is brighter than the normal that is called over illumination then in example of over illumination, over illumination we may say when we increase brightness of mobile more than normal that is comes under over illumination. Then the next type is sky glow. Brightening part of this whole night sky or over light on night sky is called sky glow. Okay. So this is in the, these are the types of light pollution we are facing. Okay. So here is an diagram which show the different type of light pollution see there is a street light a street light the function of street light is to provide light to the street so this is the useful light then the backlight is a type of light trespass then here up light which is the light facing towards the sky that forms a sky glow then the light which enter into one's property one's house that is a type of stray light that is light trespass then the light which forms visual impairment to the peoples that is a type of light pollution that is called glare okay so these are the types of light pollution we discussed then let us discuss what are the causes of light pollution in the first cause we have seen that poor planning of signage street lights etc can create glare light trespass which cause light pollution then overpopulation or over residency in a particular area also cause light pollution. Then irresponsible and excessive use of electric bulb decorating lights create light clutter, sky glow and cause light pollution. Then light from vehicles during night cause glare etc and a source of light pollution. Then street lamps may cause light trespass and irritate people living near the street which is also type of light pollution. Then poor infrastructure planning leads to various types of light pollution. Display lights in pubs, shopping centers, discos etc to attract customers leads to light pollution. Then in major cities and highways, commercial advertising boards use excessive lights for illumination which are also a cause of light pollution. Then let us discuss what are the effects of light pollution. In effects, it increases energy consumption and electric bills. Light trespass causes sleeping problems which leads to stress, anxiety, etc. Over lightning also causes eye problems. Poor and excessive traffic lights may lead to road accidents. Light pollution reduces the visibility of stars and celestial objects which adversely affect the astronomers. 
then light pollution affect the life of nocturnal wild animals that means the animals which are the animals which are moving in the night time those are called nocturnal wild animals like bat etc okay then light pollution has adverse impact on migratory birds as they are disoriented by the glare of artificial lights while fly over urban areas then in maximum urban city areas fireflies disappeared because of bright artificial light at night so these are some effects of light pollution we discussed then comes under control methods what are the control methods of light pollution first we must turn off lights when not in use using fewer lights when inside home will decrease light pollution then using night shift setting on all devices like computer laptop mobile ipods etc also decrease light pollution then we must reduce the use of decorative lights in festivals and celebration periods we must use environment friendly candles and diyas instead of decorative lighting during festivals and celebrations to decrease light pollution then in streets we must use covered balls where light facing downwards so that too much light is not reflected in the sky to minimize sky glow okay then all outdoor lights with glare should be replaced by low glare alternatives and then the last one is we must spread awareness among people about causes effects and control methods of light pollution so these are some causes effects and control methods of light pollution we discussed in this video so this much in this video uh, see you all in next video with another topic till then tata bye bye and take care and don't forget to subscribe this channel okay thank you for watching